leaving camp, driving to Grandview along the New River Gorge National Park and Wildlife Preserve. Gonna do some hiking. Look at these views. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be a great day. Alrighty, coming up on the main overlook. This is looking pretty nifty. The grand view. The main overlook at Grand View is quite spectacular. On a clear day, you can see directly into the heart of New River Gorge, National River, including seven miles of the New River and its watershed. I am standing at the highest point in the park, 1,400 feet above the river. Looking to the right, in the river you can see remnants of Glade Creek Bridge that stood between now and abandoned towns of Hamlet and Glade. Looking to your left, the town on the river is Quinamont Switching Yard for the CX, CSX Rail Line. The town itself is further back. From, the, over this, from this overlook, you have a grand view of the Allegheny Plateau, part of the Appalachian Highlands. Over time, swift rivers and streams cut deep valleys into the plateau, leaving steep hills as remnants of the former surface. This isn't the Royal Gorge, this is the New River Gorge. It's awesome. This is upriver on the New River from Brooks Falls and Sandstone Falls, where it was the other day. I'm going to go out here and do a little bit of hiking. I got a rim trail. I don't know what it involves, but let's find out. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I'm now hiking on the tunnel trail. A lot of steps here. Which is fine going down, coming back up. Ugh. Anyway, I don't know if we're going to see any tunnels or not. Let's find out. It's beautiful here and cool. I think it's 72 and the time is like 11.30 in the morning. Beautiful. Got a nice little overhang rock here to get the hike under and by. Pretty neat. And now we're going up some stairs here. Wowzer, wowzer. Nifty neato, hey? Eh? Here's a neat little tunnel. Maybe that's why they call this tunnel trail. I was thinking maybe for a train track. I was thinking maybe for trains, but I think it's just the rock formations. And I think that used to be a coal mine. Got it boarded up. Look at these nice rock formations. Man, look at that. Now this is pretty neat. Wooden stairs. I'll take you under the tunnel rock here. Look at that rock. It goes on up over there. Beautiful. Nifty. Nifty neato. Now I'm sure you've heard of a snake shedding its skin. 
this is an example of a tree that shed its tree but kept the bark. Ends right there. The bark's here, but the tree's gone. Broke off right there. How interesting. All right, that does it for the tunnel trail. Gonna go back to the van, pack up my knapsack because the next hike is called the Rim Overlook Trail and it's 2.57 miles one way. So it's gonna be over five miles round trip. Yeah, buddy. Well, coming up on the North Overlook off of the Grand View Rim Trail, which I'm already on. See, it's got an arrow going each way. All right. Turkey Spur is where I want to go, but there's an overlook this way. So we're going to go that way and then come back and continue on for the Turkey Spur. Here's the first overlook. Uh, unless you cut some trees. <laughs> I don't know what good it is. Down there is the, is the river. Glad I saw it from the main overlook. Hopefully the next few overlooks will be a little better. Here's the overlook. It's already looking better. I can see the river and the train tracks. It's muddy. Ah oh, yes, look at that down there. Gorgeous. Beautiful country here in West Virginia. Here's another overlook. It's got some growth. Put the camera up. This is just a few feet from the other one. And just a few feet more down. There's another overlook. Let's go around the bed here. Look at that. Very nice. And here's even another overlook. Look at that. That right there would make a good picture. This is sort of a green version of Horseshoe Bend in Arizona. Not really, but it popped into my mind, so I had to say it. <laughs> okay, we went down the overlook that way. There's there is three overlooks that way. They're all pretty neat. The last one was the best. So I got those great pictures of like Horseshoe Bend. Now I'm back on to the turkey spur. Let's go see what the turkey spur is all about. This tree has seen some wear and tear. Almost looks like a bird beak coming out. Nice little bridge here to cross. Pretty neat. Yeah, you don't want to slip on this trail. You might fall down there. Well, I made it. I'm at Turkey Spur Overlook. Here's the map. You are here. <laughs> I'm at the end. You can drive out here. I decided to hike. I gotta hike back so it'll be about a five mile hike when I'm done. 
gorgeous up here. Weather's awesome. Loving it. Well, I found a few more steps to continue on. The other grand view. Many people eat Many people believe Turkey Spur is one of the most spectacular views at Grandview. At the top of these 150 steps, the New River looks like two rivers flowing in an opposite direction. This is caused by the river making a four-mile hairpin turn called Eight Stretches Neck, west of the Overlook, and doubling back on itself. That's going to be interesting. There's a possibility I'm going to go up those steps and get up here for a great view. I don't know, but let's find out. Yep, more steps. And more steps. Let's go. Yep, I'm on top. That's the parking lot. You know, a line there if you can make it out that you drive in. You can park your cars there. And climb up here. Another view of the river from Turkey Spur Outlook. Awesome. Coming down these steps is nice. <laughs> Coming up them's not so nice. But look at this labyrinth they made. There's more steps there that go down there. But you have to climb to get up here. And they go on. Good exercise. Love the hike. Alright, time to start the long walk back. Great day for it. Deer, deer, deer. Hey everyone, hope you're having fun. I am, and you should be too. Yeah, I'm buddy. Well, Rose is in the grocery store shopping and they had the background music going and everything and it was just really loud and the store was packed with people. She kept getting her cart bumped into or she had to say excuse me to a bunch of people. And people were just talking and some were cursing because of the crowd. And Rose finally, she just couldn't stand it anymore. She just sort of threw her hands up and said, I wish people were more fluent in silence. <laughs>